vertex form. So I'm going to move 33 to the opposite side. Then I'm going to factor out a 4. Then I'm going to take the B and divide it by 2. So it was 7 over 1. Now it becomes 7 over 2, 7 halves, positive. Then I need to take the 7 halves and I have to square it. So I could use the calculator or I can come off the side and go 7 halves times 7 halves, which is 49 over 4. And I'm going to draw an arrow here. So actually, I did not just attach 49 over 4, I attached 4 times 49 divided by 4 is actually 49. So I just, just attached 49 to the right-hand side, a positive, so I need to do a positive 49 to the left-hand side. 33 and 49 is... Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you, thank you. So negative 33 and positive 49 is positive 16. Thank you, Jeannie. So y plus 16 equals this value. Then I move the 16 back over. And this would be the factored or vertex form, vertex form. Now what does it reveal? Just for time reasons, I'm not going to write them down, but we'll talk about it. It opens up. It stretches by a factor, vertically stretches by a factor of 4, and it has a vertex of negative 7 halves and negative 16. Negative 7 halves, negative 16. How many of you were able to get that? Good. Okay, then I'm going to put it now into factored form, also known as intercept form. So there's nothing that I can divide by each one of these. So 4 times 33, I just did it, was 132. Okay, so I hate when they have big numbers like this, but here we go. So 1 and 132 does not work. 2 and 66 does not work. It does not divide by, oh, it does divide by 3. Still doesn't work. It does divide by 4. That still doesn't work, but it's getting close. Um, I know it's not going to divide by 5. Let's try 6. 6 appears to work. So I'm going to do x plus 6 and x plus 22. Then take the leading coefficient and put it underneath. And that reduces down to 3 halves and 11 over 2. So what does this reveal in factored or intercept form? It reveals that you have x-intercepts at negative 3 halves 0 and negative 11 halves 0. Because the number out front is a positive 1, it reveals that it opens upward. But it does not stretch or compress because the number is 1. Okay, let's do a simple graph. I'm going to take go over to negative 3 halves and down 16. So there's 3 and a half, and I'm just going to estimate. Here is negative 3.5 and negative 16. Now, hold on one second. <coughs> this isn't making sense to me. The reason it's not making sense to me, oh, it is, it is. What is, the, what is going to be the y-intercept? Positive 33, which is way the heck up here somewhere. And it has x-intercepts of negative 1 and a half and negative 5 and a half. And so somewhere way up there, it crosses over. Okay, what is the domain? No restrictions going to the left or right. The range, it does go down as far as 16, but there's no restrictions as it goes up. End behavior, as it goes to the left and as it goes to the right in both situations, the y values are headed up. And the very last thing is I'm going to choose to solve this using the completing square method, but you could use any method that you choose. So I take <coughs> the equation, and instead of it being set equal to y, I set it equal to 0. Move 33 to the opposite side. 
This time I'm going to remember to make it negative 33. Factor out a 4. Divide by the leading coefficient of 4. Okay, now 4 divided by 2 is just, that's my fault, 7 divided by 2 is just 7 halves. When I square 7 halves, 7 times 7 is 49, 2 times 2 is 4. So I've just added 49 over 4, I have to come over here and add 49 over 4 as well. Negative 33 and positive 49 is 16, am I correct? It is 16. And 16 over 4 reduces to 4. four. This tells you two answers, and you get those two answers by taking the square root of 4, placing a plus or minus in front. Then I'm going to take the 7 halves and move it over, making it negative 7 halves. One time I add, and one time I subtract. So feel free to use a calculator. Negative 7 halves plus 2 putting it back into a fraction or leaving it as a decimal, your choice. And the other one will be negative 7 halves minus 2. Again, leave it as a decimal or putting it back into a fraction, your choice.